Today we're going to talk about instant calm. Now this is a trick called a forest bathe. All right, and it works in the winter as well. If you're in a warm climate, uh, this is awesome. But in the winter, it works super well. All right, so here's what a forest bathe is. All right, so the forest bathing, it involves immersing yourself in nature, but in a mindful way. All right, and in the winter, it works great. Now, imagine, imagine you're walking along a foresty path, trying to focus on your breath, but the air is really thin and icy. All right, so forest bathing is a form of meditation that was first popularized in Japan. All right, so according to the Association of Nature and Forest Therapy Guides and Programs, the benefits of forest bathing may lower cortisol, boost your immune system, and improve your mood. But you shouldn't be doing it for a particular reason. There's a uh, Ramakrishna saying that uh, you can't have uh, you can't have boga and yoga at the same time. And boga kind of means enjoyment, uh, and and more in the terms of engaging the world. So most people who are doing yoga are technically doing boga because they're doing it in uh, bogus yoga, right? That's it's not where it comes from, but it's funny. Uh, but they're doing it from a point of getting physical benefits and that's that almost defeats the purpose you should not have a physical worldly goal with your meditation all right now i know i know you're watching this video or listening to this to get instant calm but uh this will work for that too but hopefully as you go through your meditation you you can break away from having goals in the first place right but uh, of course that's that's an act of grace uh if that happens so what you do is you try to get to a forest or a hiking path, and the colder it is outside, the better, right? And try to focus on your breath as you're, as you're breathing in that icy, cold air, all right? So imagine you begin to walk, and you view your thoughts as logs floating down a river, all right? With you on the bank, simply letting each one pass by. But it's hard to stay right there and not to seek additional stimulation. You know, you're going to be compelled to chatter, hum, grab onto a log thought, untangle some problem in your head. But just when your thoughts begin to rush faster and faster, you stop and stare upward. And look at the height of the trees. Look at the variations in the bark. Notice the shades of stuff that might be growing on the trunks or if there's snow on the ground, snow on the ground. All right, pass your hand over an icicle and feel what it feels like. This is called forest bathing. All right, so next time you have a chance, even if you can't get to a forest, let's say you're in an office or you're on an airplane or something, imagine this going on in your head. Just imagine yourself in a forest. If you can get out there for real, even better. It works superbly. But if you can imagine yourself walking through a forest, and breathing in that super cold, icy air, which forces you to slow down and focus on the cold and the visuals and what it feels like. All right, it will give you instant calm. Try it right now.